Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz, this is Let's Get Lizical, where we do everything card making. And today we're going to be playing with my brother, Scan and Cut. And I'm just going to show you, this is in real time, um, how to scan in an image into your machine and then save it. But what I did was I took a die that I had bought off of Amazon a couple of years ago, and it was just like the deer head. I cut it out of black cardstock and I glued it to a piece of white cardstock, just a single layer in black and white, just to give it like a good contrast for the machine to recognize. And it worked out pretty well. Like it's not a hundred percent perfect. Um, but I did, you know, have this idea in my head for quite a while. So what I'm doing is I scanned it in, I'm going to select the option where it will save around all of the pieces. So it'll cut out those like little pieces on the inside as well. Um, and then I, you can just preview that and then save it to the machine, which is this one at the top left here. Mine is the uh, CM350 model, uh, which is an older one. They don't sell this one anymore, but I think the interface is pretty much the same. There's like a few new features in the newer machines, but um, I'm pretty sure it's mostly the same for all the scan cuts. Uh, so they should work, you know, the same. <laughs> I just said the same way too many times, but you know, um, so right now I am making sure that all the pieces are together. So I just kind of like welded those together and then I'm going to increase the size up to, I think four and a quarter inches in height. And then it will scale proportionately with the width. As long as you have that, uh, proportions locked, you can unlock them and like scale it however you want, uh, height and width wise, but I don't want to distort the original image I just wanted it to be bigger because the small one is a little too small to be making a shaker out of it and that's what I wanted to do um so what I did was I cut this out of my uh Michael's recollection 65 pound cardstock that I had printed with my buffalo check pattern which you can get on my website for two dollars it comes with four different patterns well same pattern it's all buffalo check but i have two different scales of it standard and then two different scales of it on like a bias uh so they're on a 45 degree angle and this is the regular straight one and then there's a larger size that's like 50 percent larger than this one and all four of those are like again two dollars in the pack and it's just um png download that you can use to print on your card stocks and I've been printing lots of this. I love red buffalo check for Christmas. It just screams Christmas, you know. <laughs> and what I'm doing here is I glued some acetate to the back of this and I'm just putting in those little tiny pieces just to give the antlers a little bit more definition. Like you can definitely leave this out if you want, um, but I think it just like makes it look better if you have that in there it just kind of separates out those pieces of the antler and then i'm going to go around this is scrapbook.com's uh one eighth inch foam tape which i love uh as long as you're taking off the backer sheet as you're going uh it just helps it bend and move like you can see how easily i'm doing this this is sped up like to three times but it didn't take me long at all to do these cards i think it was only like 15 minutes maybe uh, really quick and simple and I'm just adding more foam tape to the edges and I'll add a few pieces on some of the more open areas at the bottom there before adding in my shaker bits and then this will be centered on my card I did leave it so that it would have a bit of a white border I should have maybe cut an individual piece of cardstock at the back that was the same size as the red buffalo check that's the only thing i would probably change about this card it's just easier than trying to you know lay them out within the area that it needs to be because like right now i'm just putting some in and like gauging like yeah that's in the approximate area this should be enough it would have been easier if i could have just like kind of like dumped it into the well well, it was upside down and then put some paper on the background. So next time I'll do it that way. 
and I'm trying to make sure that none of the sticky tape gets caught on any of the shaker bits because there's nothing worse than putting your shaker card together and you have sequins caught in the tape and then those ones are not going to move and you can't undo it without ruining it so um yeah I'm just shaking it around I have a love-hate relationship with shaker cards um sometimes you know things get caught in certain areas and then I just like shake the crap out of it kind of like bang the card around help it try to move and that's basically what I'm doing right now and for the sentiment I'm going to use the Merry Christmas from my Sassy Santa stamp set which again is also available on my website and I will also probably be putting it up in my Etsy shop at some point I just don't have the time to do that at the moment but it will be there in the future this is one that I did testing with at the beginning, so I didn't cut this with the coordinating die. There is a coordinating dies that go with this, and it will cut out the larger sentiments. And uh, this one was just fussy cut because I got uh, samples of the stamp set before I got the dies, so I ended up just you know playing around with them when I first got them, and then just uh, fussy cut around it. So I thought I would just you know use this up instead of making another one, which was another like quick and easy thing for this card. Um, and you can leave it like this, or you can, you know, add a bit more. I thought it could use a bit of gold to it. I'm not a huge gold person, but I love gold embellishments on cards, I think, for some reason. I tend to use gold embossing powder quite a bit, and a lot more than my silver one. And then same with these, like, sequins. Like, I'm using the clear ones on the inside of the card but I used the gold ones on the outside, just add another dimension of color. And originally for this video, I was just gonna make this one card, which is why I kind of like waved my little goodbye there. Uh, but I decided to show you guys what to do with the rest of it. Like this deer head is perfect for another card. So I decided to use that. And I've had this other idea in my head where I'm putting um, flowers in the antlers of the deer, which is, you know, it's not a new idea. People have done it before, but um, I wanted to give it a try myself, so I decided to, you know, use it up. Uh, the green, like, snowflakey paper is from a Studio Light paper pack, I think, if it's still available. I think it is. I think I saw it on Simon's website recently. Um, so I'll try to link it down below if it is. If not, try to use something that's similar. I like this because the green's not like a traditional Christmas green. Like this whole pack is kind of like a vintage Christmas colors. And this one's like a like popsicle green, I would say. And I like that it's like bright, it's contrast, it's fresh. And it actually goes really well with the red buffalo check. It, it complements it. Obviously green and red are complementary colors, but the the tone of this it just it just works for me so i i love this card actually more than the first one <laughs> which is kind of funny because that was not my original focus for this video but you know i got two good cards out of it but this one's my favorite um and i'm just adding again those 1 8 inch foam strip tapes just because the antlers are fairly thin uh so I'll just use that throughout the back here. I do have tons of them because I bought a couple packs a while back, but I haven't really used much of them. I, I mostly bought it so that I could do my shaker cards because when I do my cut files, I like to do the borders for them a slightly larger than an eighth of an inch, um, just so that I could use eighth inch foam strips. And from there, I just um, will attach the card. The deer head itself is a little unbalanced, like the antlers go out further on one side than the other. Uh, so it's not perfectly centered. I just tried to center the face in the panel and not worry about the antlers because I think it might look a little bit more off if I had like moved the head, but I'm not sure. Um, I might try to do a die like this in the summer when I do my own um, products and do it so that it's you know similar to this size but a little bit more balanced because it it does drive me a little bit crazy that it's not symmetrical but that's okay um and then for these point poinsettias i am cutting them with again some more dies i got off of amazon um there's plenty out there and i will try to link some other products 
below because I got these a long time ago, so they're not likely to be available anymore. And they're probably, let's be honest, knockoffs of somebody else's anyway. So um, I'll try to link some proper products in the description below. And I just kind of cut like the smallest one in the set or the second smallest one. I don't remember. And then I just, you know, put two of them together and then did three of them on the antlers just to give it a little bit more contrast and flow. And I added this again, Merry Christmas is from my Sassy Santa stamp set. This was something I played with again when I got the samples from the original round. And then I'm just adding these gold pearls to the middle of each flower. But that's pretty much our cards for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Our holiday card series will officially start next week and I'll be posting three videos a week for the next four weeks, as well as additional photos over on my Instagram and Facebook. So if you're not already following me there, check out the links down below and give me a follow for additional content. And until next time, thanks guys. Bye.